Well, as I promised, I would share my journey home with you. As you know, after two years of living in Israel, we came home to the United States to visit family and friends. Well, there's a story behind it. And so I wanna share the story with you as well as take you on my journey home. I'm gonna start with day one, day two, and then we're gonna end um, wherever the day lands. But I know that you're going to enjoy our journey home and you get to meet all of my wonderful, amazing um, children as well as my beautiful Gigi's grandbabies. So um, I hope you enjoy this series of a journey home and uh, please leave comments below to let me know what you think about it, any comments that you have. Um, but as you know, or could imagine, it was quite an experience uh, for me, especially with being here so long. And when we got here, there was a storm, the storm ceased. Um, and as a mother, which is one of the joys of my life and the most uh, grateful um, gift that the Lord can give to me, uh, the ministry of motherhood. And I, everyone know I love my children. Um, and that has been a joy for me to, to, uh, to raise them up. And so I went home to see them. And so I wanna take you on my journey. Enjoy. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the journey of Ruth. As you all know, Honey and I have been living in Israel for two years two years straight without going home, seeing any of our loved ones, of course, via phone, via Zoom, via FaceTime, but not actually seeing them in the flesh for two whole years. And as you know, we have a new granddaughter and that's Gab her name is uh, Gabrielle. And we had never seen Gabrielle. Gabrielle was born during COVID. And so during COVID, of course, they weren't allowing anyone in the hospital rooms, and I got sick with COVID, and so I was unable to attend the birth of Gabrielle. And shortly after that, my husband and I moved to Israel, so I didn't get to see Gabrielle, touch Gabrielle, bless Gabrielle, um, and that was quite an experience for me, knowing that I had a grandchild in the earth that I could not touch, that I could not see, that I could not hold. And oh, when I tell you the joy that I felt when I kissed those little cheeks, when I held her in my arms, it was the most amazing feeling. And so it's a lot that sparked that. And I wanna share the journey with you. So I want you to stay tuned for all of the episodes, day one, day two, day three, and so on and so on and so on until I share the entire journey with you. You get to meet uh, some of our most amazing children and especially those cutie pie grandchildren of ours. And um, I know you're gonna enjoy. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the uh, comment bar. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm so grateful to be able to share this um, portion of my journey with you. So this is the journey of Ruth, journey of Ruth back to the USA from Israel. Well, God bless you, and um, I hope you enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the journey of Ruth. I'm Dr. Ruth Pauline Plummer, and I am a resident of Israel, the country of Israel. Um, as you know, my husband and I moved here over two years ago um, and we had not been home at all to see our grandchildren. Um, yeah, okay. 